if you want to be a vegan, there are three things you need to know. Otherwise, you can have serious health problems. More and more people are becoming vegan overnight for health reasons, ecological reasons, or just trend. And I've seen people age in one year what they haven't aged in 30 years or getting serious neurological problems. If you want to be a vegan, there are three fundamental things you need to know. I should record a video about myth, but I dismantle one right now. From evolutionary point of view, species close to our species are not vegans. Chimps and gorillas are omnivorous like us. However, they eat small quantities of animal protein between once a week to once a month. Therefore, we should eat some at least once per month. But what are the three important things we need to know to be a healthy vegan? Protein is very important in our diet. It's a building block of body structures and tools. It gives us amino acids so we can produce antibodies, as immunity, neurotransmitters, as mental balance, ability to think, to sleep, and so on. Also, hemoglobin, so we don't have anemia, collagen and elastin to look young and healthy, and other tools that balance body fluids are made of amino acids. If you don't ingest enough, you will feel tired, depressed, sick, pale and aged. Many posts on the internet show that vegetables are rich in protein. I saw posts in the internet telling that broccoli has 50% of protein and that is not true. The best source of plant proteins are the grains and when cooked they have up to 16% while a stick has 26% and a salmon 22%. For example, for each 100 grams, tofu has 16 grams, black beans and chickpeas have 9 grams, broccoli has 2.4 grams, boiled potatoes with skin 2.4 grams, boiled potatoes without skin 1.7 grams, cooked white rice 2.7 grams, with spaghetti 5.8 grams, mushrooms more or less 2 grams, quinoa 4.4 grams. So not only they have less protein, but they also lack some important amino acids. Of course there are exceptions like quinoa which has all essential amino acids. Now I will share with you three tips so you can get all essential amino acids in good amounts. First one, recommended dietary allowance of protein is 0.8 grams per kilo of body weight or 0.75 according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. This means that if you weigh 60 kilos, you should eat 48 grams of protein or at least 45 grams of protein and this is in the form of protein not in the total weight of the food source second tip combine many different plant protein sources so you can gather all essential amino acids eat a very rich diet don't eat over and over again the same thing so you can avoid deficiency and the most important amino acids. Third tip, nuts, seeds and brewer's yeast are good food sources and can help you get all essential amino acids. Spirulina is also a good source of protein, but let's talk about B12 first. Vitamin B12 is not very abundant, but it's so important for us that our digestive system produces two molecules to trap and protect B12 we eat and transport it to the absorption region of the gut. Without B12 we can get anemia, memory loss, dementia, depression, the peripheral nerves degenerate and we can feel tingling and loss of body sensation. The tongue can also swell. 
B12 deficiency can cause irreparable damage for life. 80% of vegans became deficiency in B12 within the first six years of veganism, according to some studies. Only 20% seem to resist, but over the decades, virtually all develop a deficit if done to proper supplementation. Gorillas eat insects and sometimes even feces. If you don't like the gorilla solution, then take a supplement or eat fish or shellfish once in a while. You can always take some algae, but not all are good sources of B12. This is because we have B12 and we have pseudo-vitamin B12. Pseudo-B12 is fake B12 and fake B12 is not active in humans. Spirulina, a very widely used B12 food source by vegans around the world, is very, very rich in fake B12 and can lead you to a B12 deficiency. Chlorella and nori are the only edible algae with true B12 and in small studies they help to prevent B12 deficiency. Nori is the one that we use to do sushi. There would be a lot to talk about B12 and how to measure it correctly, but that's for another video. Or if you want to go even deeper, please come study with me and my team. There are several types of fats and one of them is the omega-3 class. Within this class, there are several fats and not all of them exist in the plant world, at least in abundance or in conventional food source. Land plants have alpha-linolenic acid, a type of omega-3, but not DHA. They don't know how to manufacture this type of omega-3, which is vital for us humans. It is important for the development of the nervous system in babies, for the maintenance of the brain structures, influencing our ability to learn and behave. IQ, the intelligence quotient, is influenced by it, did you know? One of the biggest differences between us and other animals is the DHA requirement our brain has. DHA enhances our problem-solving ability. In fact, some scientists believe that access to high DHA food sources might have been a turning point in human evolution. In theory, from plant alpha-linolenic acid, we can make DHA. In practice, studies show that production is residual or non-existent. There are a number of reasons for this, from genetics to epigenetics like a sugar and industrialized fat-rich diet. Low DHA intake leads to agitation, depression, difficulties with being mindful or solving problems, aggressive behavior, and much more. Land plants don't know how to produce it, but in the sea there are plenty sources of DHA. Fresh algae have DHA, but they also have high levels of iodine, which are dangerous if you are not used to or if you have thyroid problems. It's better to take some fish or microalgae DHA supplement. If you are pregnant, or if you think in becoming pregnant, please take some DHA. It is a pregnancy health insurance and very important to the correct development of the nervous system. DHA makes us wise and peaceful. In short, if you want to become a vegan, ingest B12 and DHA supplements and manage your protein well. Supervise your physical and mental health during this transition. And if you have any questions, please consult a health professional. That's all for today. I hope I was helpful. See you in the next video. Until there, be happy.